Although Nakuru is Kenya's fourth largest town, it still has a relaxed atmosphere and makes a pleasant base for a few days. It's on the doorstep of the delightful Lake Nakuru National Park and is only a few kilometers from the deep dramatic Meningai Crater. There's a limited amount of mid-range and top-end accommodation within Nakuru, but great options at Lake Nakuru National Park and other midtown hotels like Oleken Hotel add to the selection. Welcome to this week's edition of Travel Kenya. This week, we are featuring Nakuru Town, a home of flamingos. Welcome to the Oleken Hotel. The Oleken Hotel welcomes you to Nakuru, Kenya with sophistication and impeccable services. Meet Mr. David Mwangi, the general manager of Le Ken Hotel. Mr. Mwangi, other than business clientels, who are your most common clients other than the domestic and international tourists? Uh, at the moment, the hospitality industry is changing a lot. And uh, initially, we used only to depend on, on tourists uh, for survival. But right now, the biggest chunk of business that uh, hotels get, especially in this region, is conferencing. Both domestic and international. We have, uh, we have um, trainers and also participants coming from all over the country and also from overseas to attend serious conferences here in Nakuru. So I can say a big percentage of the business we get is conferences. 
uh, it is now secure to to have a mm-hmm. hotel in Nakuru. not like some years some years back and then also it's it's no it's more clean now the the, the 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 town is more clean so when you put up a hotel uh, you can put up a very good hotel but when the environment is not clean you may not try to to be doing well but having said that there's a lot that they need to do uh, and maybe I just highlight two uh, number one is to market uh, Nakuru and Kenya in general abroad let people know the good things that we have in Kenya and more so in Nakuru uh, number two they need to train the hospitality staff uh, we have institutions of uh, of training like Kenya Utali College uh, tourism uh, tourism fund they can come I know they have tried but they can do better by training because this is one of the sectors that a good percentage of those who are working in, in this sector are semi-skilled so if they can get good training these people because they have the right attitude they can uh, they can do very well I would like to welcome everybody, internationally, uh, domestically, to Nakuru. And when they're in Nakuru, there's no, uh, no other place they can, they can stay. It's the Olaken Hotel. Nakuru is very uh, dynamic. All tribes of this country, they are here. I heard that uh, last week, Amakonde, who is among the newest uh, tribes in Kenya, uh, was, was spotted in Nakuru. So every tribe is here. It's the most, it's the most cosmopolitan county that you can stay in and you can invest in because nobody owns, nobody owns that. Everybody owns it. Uh, secondly, it is in this county that you get all these uh, nice tourist attractive uh, attraction sites like the Lake Nakuru National Park, the Hilux prehistoric site, the Menengai crater. It is from Nakuru, especially for, uh, like when you're in Oleken at the rooftop. You can see all the ranges, from the Mau ranges, the Abadea ranges, the Menengai hills, and then the Lake Nakuru and it's, it's uh, so many hills. You can see them from, uh, from this Nakuru. So if you want to see the real Lifty Valley very well, come to Nakuru. Thank you so much, Mr. Mwangi. Do join us in next week's edition as we feature Menengai Crater and Lake Nakuru National Park, the best of touristic sites here in Nakuru. I've been your host, Helen Mudoni. From us, God bless you.